by Doug Dillard. Um, this is a repeat of an earlier video. This is just a better camera, and I've learned a lot since then. So um, let's just take it through. This is a fairly straightforward piece. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot going on in the right hand or the picking hand if you're left-handed, um, and not so much going on down here with the left hand. So we'll take it a phrase at a time. So the first phrase is this. Now, let's break it down. So what are we doing with this hand? I'm gonna get closer so you can see. So it's sort of what they call a forward backward roll. And here's what it is. So this is just the right hand. position. You're on the ninth fret of the second string. Um, excuse me, the uh, tenth fret of the second string, ninth fret of the first string. So I'm using my middle two fingers like this. So ring finger on the second string, middle finger on the first string. So we combine it with that pick and we get, we get Frere Jaca basically. Second phrase is this. One more time. Okay, so what's going on with the the uh, picking hand, the right hand? It's so that starts on the excuse me third string first. That's with the thumb. Thumb on the third. Index on the first. I mean, sorry, middle on the first, index on the third, so it's third, first, second, then fifth. That's the first four, and then the last four are just like the previous one. Two, the G and the B on the fifth fret and you can do that with the middle two fingers I use my pinky and my ring either one will get you there so you combine those two you get and then for the second four notes just take your hand off again real slow Here's the two phrases together, slowly. And as I put it out, you'll notice they both end, sorry, with that phrase. One more time. on just getting that much first because the second half contains a lot of these same same licks and everything is even da, 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 da. no pausing okay so the second half goes So what are we doing there? Sort of 
Well, we're on the, the, uh, the left hand's got the middle two on the fifth, but let me show you the right hand first. So you've got that. Pretty much the same lick as in the first half, just. So three, one, two, five. fifth fret of the G string, open B after that, and then seventh fret on the low E, I mean low D, and then the high D open. And you can see I'm not really, you can hold that down, but you don't need to hold that shape down. You can just you know, go back and forth. Okay, so put those two together, you get. All right, then you repeat all that. Doug Dillon play it, of course he's going a million miles. So it sounds like, oh my God. But it's a really pretty little piece, so just take your time with it. All right, I'm gonna do the whole thing one more time, sort of slow. Three, four. tip on the left hand this is a good thing to sort of break up the, the death grip which a lot of people have when they start learning make sure you get your hand off there when you don't need it and this yes you can hold it but I think you get a little more definition the other way I'm not using picks, but you certainly can, okay? All right, have fun.